Hello, I'm Heidi Young from Alimed, and you are viewing video four of the PIR alarm systems featuring system four, motion detection bed alarm with remote receiver and nurse call receiver. If you have not yet seen our overview, you may want to go back and view that video first to get a general idea of how the system as a whole works, how to use it, and all its benefits and features. But just to quickly review, the PIR is a wireless motion sensing alarm that acts as a first alert to patients who are about to rise from their bed. It uses infrared technology to create an invisible field that triggers an alarm once the sensing field has been disturbed. This presentation takes a closer look at System 4 and explains the benefits specific to the system, its components, setup instructions, and how to use it. System 4 combines PIR Systems 2 and 3, allowing your alarm system to alert at bedside, at the nurse's station, and at a remote location up to 100 feet away. It includes the local PIR alarm unit, nurse call receiver, and remote receiver. The System 4 configuration gives your PIR alarm the widest alert range, which in turn helps increase staff awareness to patients attempting to rise. It is the best option for extra safety and for increasing staff response time for patients in danger of falling. It can be placed on the side or at the foot of the bed or at the headboard. You can even place it above a doorway for patients who tend to wander. System 4 bed alarm with remote receiver and nurse call receiver comes installed in a swivel mounting bracket and includes one 9 volt battery. On the front of the alarm is the sensing area. This is the part of the alarm that emits the invisible infrared sensing field. Be sure this is the side facing out when the alarm is in use. On either side is the low battery alert light and the speaker where the local alarm sound is emitted. On one side of the unit are the alarm settings, which include the on-off switch, the high-low volume slider, and the nurse call jack. On the reverse side is the reset button. The unit swivels in the holster to expose the battery compartment. Here you'll also find the transmission mode controls. Three choices can be made from the transmission mode using the selector switch. Choose alarm if you want only the alarm to sound with no signal sent to any other device. Use this mode when using the PIR alarm alone. Choose transmit when you want the PIR alarm to transmit only to other devices and not emit an alarm sound itself. Use this mode when trying to avoid waking other patients in the room. Choose transmit and alarm if you want the PIR alarm to sound both locally and transmit to the remote receivers, alerting staff outside the room as well as warning the patient that they have triggered the alarm. Just below these controls is the delay function selector. Choose either a 10 or 20 second delay that allows the caregiver to exit the room without disturbing the sensing field. The eight position red and white dip switches indicate the channel the transmitter or receiver is set to. They are numbered one through eight. On the bottom side of the holster are the screw slots for mounting the device. System four also comes with a remote receiver unit which communicates with the alarm unit to extend the range of the sounding alarm by up to 100 feet in any direction. On the front is a series of three alert lights, a low battery indicator for the remote unit itself that illuminates red, a patient unit low battery indicator that illuminates yellow when the PIR alarm unit battery is low, and a green power on indicator. The front also contains the alarm speaker and the corresponding flashing alert light. To the side is the power on off selector. Just below is the high low volume selector and below that is the AC adapter port you may order an AC adapter separately. On the back are screw slots for mounting. There are also slots that expose the magnetic surface, allowing the unit to be mounted magnetically. To expose the battery compartment, remove the screw from the bottom of the unit. There you'll also find the blue and white dip switches that you will easily program to communicate with both the nurse call receiver and local PIR alarm unit. In addition to the remote receiver, System 4 also comes with the nurse call receiver, which works in conjunction with the alarm unit to signal the nurse call system. On the front is the low battery alert light. To the side is the power on off selector. On the back is the nurse call plug and the battery compartment. Within the battery compartment is the transmit channel dip switch to be matched with those on the PIR alarm unit and remote receiver. And on the bottom is the nurse call jack for optional use with the patient's nurse call button. To set up the alarm, select a proper mounting location based on the area to be monitored. You will want to position the sensor so that it creates a sensing field nearest where the patient is likely to move first when attempting to rise. Now securely mount the bracket to either wall or bed, making sure the unit is positioned so the reset switch faces away from the patient. This reduces patient tampering and allows easy access for the caregiver. 
A magnetic mount is also available with the purchase of the magnetic bed rail clamp PIR system. Once the sensor is securely positioned, test it to ensure proper function. First, switch the unit on and adjust the volume slider. The alarm then enters the 10 or 20 second delay mode. Wait for the alarm to beep, signifying it is ready, and then pass your hand through the sensing field. The alarm will sound. Now that your sensor unit is set up, tested, and ready to use, set up the remote receiver. After installing four C-cell batteries, pair the remote receiver to both nurse call receiver and local PIR alarm unit. This is achieved by using the blue dip switch module above the batteries. Set each of the eight white switches to match the positions of the PIR unit. Once you've established communication with the PIR unit, mount the receiver unit to the desired location up to 100 feet away. There are three mounting options available. You can mount the unit using the magnetic mounting bed rail clamp, available separately or by purchasing as part of the system package. You can also mount the unit using the included bracket and screws, or by using the included double-sided adhesive. Now set up the nurse call receiver. After installing a 9-volt battery, set the 8 position dip switches to match the settings of the PIR alarm unit. Make sure to set the transmit mode on the alarm to either transmit or transmit an alarm to enable communication. Now insert the nurse call plug into the wall's nurse call jack and turn the power switch to the on position. To operate the unit, turn the PIR device on using the on-off selector on the side. Adjust the volume settings as desired. It is now ready for use. The PIR unit's sensor field extends horizontally up to 24 feet from the unit. In order to prevent false alarms caused by the caregiver or other patients, use a privacy curtain to reduce the area the sensing field covers. Ideally, face the alarm near the foot of the bed so the sensor field stops at the wall and does not trigger a false alarm if someone walks past the foot of the bed. You may choose to use a second PIR unit to ensure proper coverage of the sensing field. For example, if a PIR is placed on one side of the bed, you may need another for the other side. With the unit mounted in the specified area and patient in place, turn the device on. Remember, you have either 10 or 20 seconds before the alarm activates in case you need to cross the sensing field. Now, when your patient rises and breaks the beam's path, the alarm will sound immediately at bedside, at the remote receiver unit, and at the nurse's station. Whether nearby, around the corner, or at the nurse's station, the caregiver now has even more time to respond to the patient who is now in danger of falling. You've just seen video four of the PIR motion sensor alarm systems featuring system four, bed alarm with remote receiver and nurse call receiver. If you'd like to learn about any of the other three PIR alarm systems, please see the separate instructional video for each. I'm Heidi Young for Alimed. Thank you for viewing.